Hey everybody, it's Board Game Blogger. Today I'm here to review Bang. Now this is a very fun uh, hidden roll game. Uh, it's sort of a casual game. Uh, and it's not it's not without its issues, but in the right setting plays uh, quite well. Uh, it's very good in a casual type of setting. Um, people have hidden rolls. Oh, it's sort of a wild western theme. Uh, one person who's known to everyone is the sheriff. And then there's the sheriff's deputies, outlaws, and a, a renegade. Uh, outlaws are trying to kill the sheriff. Sheriff's trying to kill the outlaws and the renegade. Renegade's trying to outlast everyone. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a card game. There's no board. People have different uh, unique personalities. Everyone's got a little unique special ability. And you just kind of go around the board doing different things. Uh, however, I think uh, as sort of a gamer's game, it, it drags on too long. Um, and it just keeps going with kind of no end in sight sometimes. Uh, there's no way to really predict how long the game's going to go for. So, you know, if you've got, an, you know, a certain amount of time to play, and you're like, yeah, let's play this game, uh, this is not a game in that type of setting. Because, you know, the game can end quite quickly, or it can just drag on and on. And it's not a game for that kind of setting. This is a game in sort of a casual uh, setting. I play this with my coworkers after work a lot, and uh, they like it there. You know, play it uh, at sort of social events, at parties with non-gamers, and that's where this game's sweet spot is. It's not a good gamers game, and I think the game can just drag on too long. And I don't like playing it with gamers at all. I'd rather play something else that's a little more thought-provoking. A little more interesting decisions here. There's no, not really that many interesting decisions. It's more reading the other players. It's bluffing who you are, and uh, that's where this game excels. Uh, it's, it's kind of like Werewolf, kind of like Resistance, kind of like Saboteur with the hidden roles, and that's where this game really excels. Um, the issue is, you know, unlike Resistance or unlike Saboteur, where you kind of know how long the game's going to take, this game can can go on and on unfortunately um, but you know some people like that uh, rule book uh, you know things are laid out pretty well fortunately the games in both English and Italian and a lot of the mechanics are uh, on the cards are actually described by icons and I'm not a huge fan of icona you know icons they uh, I mean they're necessary obviously in multilingual editions but it makes some things more difficult uh, to understand and to get new gamers into it which is really a shame because this is a casual game where you want to be able to quickly teach this to non-gamers. Um, but why don't we take a look at, at how the game actually plays. This is Bang the Bullet. Uh, I'm reviewing. It's, it's got the, some of the expansions which, which add a lot to the game. Um, one of the other issues with the game though is there's player elimination, and so someone can get knocked out quite early on, and the game could still go another, you know, 40 minutes after someone's been knocked out, uh, which is not the best for uh, a casual type game. Um, and so, I think within the casual hidden uh, role genre, this is on the bottom end. But the the theme, the Western theme, the fact you directly attack people. Uh, adds a lot to it and uh, a lot of people seem to really like this but let's see how it actually plays so this is the the game on setup uh, we've got a six player game set up you've got different various role cards uh, we've got the player I'm playing and we know who the sheriff is they've been identified and as the sheriff they gain an additional health so this is sort of how you denote your health my character has four, four bullets. He starts with four health. And uh, what's handy in the game is there are these player aids that kind of translate uh, the icons. Um, and the position where you are is important because you can only actually attack the person uh, directly next to you. Um, and if someone's eliminated, so for instance, if this player gets eliminated, I'm now closer to this player. As you can see also, every player sort of has a unique uh, personality. So 
me being Uncle Will, uh, my special ability is once during my turn, I can play any card from my hand as though it was a general store. Um, and the game is pretty simple. It's just you play two cards, you play any number of cards from your hand, and then you discard down. Um, it's really just that simple. And uh, your hand size is equal to the number of bullets that's on your card. So right now I could have a hand size of up to four. Um, if I took some hits down to two, I could only retain two cards. Um, so it, it's important to have a strong hand size. Um, so I will initially just draw two cards from the deck. And here we go. I've got Cat, Blue, and Bang. So bang is I can target anyone and deal them a hit within range. And Cat Baloo is I can force someone to discard, and this means any player, even if they're not within range. Now, my person is I am the outlaw. My goal is to kill the sheriff, and I happen to sit right next to him. However, if I attack instantly, I'm probably going to reveal who I am, and I don't know who anyone else is. So it might be a good idea to just kind of, you know, play, uh, just end my turn with two, and it advances to the next person. I can sort of get up cards, or if I want to be aggressive, because I know there's more outlaws than anyone else, I could choose to play a bang and attack the sheriff. They could, you know, react if they had certain cards that negate that. Otherwise, the sheriff here is going to go down one health. And play is going to advance. Somebody else will draw cards. And so on. And as you see, there's also kind of poker things here. So this is an ace of hearts. And that's because certain cards, for instance, uh, the jail, you know, is based off of a heart. So um, there's a mist, which would be a reaction card. So if I played the bang, and it, we'd been playing it for a while, and the sheriff played, they could play a mist card to neg negate that action. And so it's a really fun hidden role game. You can gain cards, sort of guns that increase your range, uh, so you can go more places. You can only normally play one bang a turn. There's certain cards like. The Volcanic has just a range of one, but it's rapid fire, and you can fire off a ton of bangs right away. And it's a, it's a neat uh, system. The hidden aspect of it is where it really excels. However, um, you know, there's also cards that heal you up. Uh, in this game, you drink beer for life, and uh, that's sort of just how the game progresses. It's uh, and it can go back and forth because you could bring the sheriff down a lot in health. He can you know regain it. There's other cards that you know the saloon card that lets you give beer to everyone. And uh, here's an example of the beer card. Um, it's got the Italian always you you know much more prominent than the English. The picture and then the symbol of what it does. And uh, that's sort of how the game plays. And it's you can choose when you want to. You could choose to reveal who you are. Uh, might make yourself a target for others. And uh, it's an interesting, interesting system. Um, if you ever, if the sheriff ever accidentally kills the deputy, he's got to discard his cards. Any player who kills the, an outlaw. Uh, gets to draw a reward of three, even if it's another outlaw. So it can be kind of cutthroat. You might even want to kill someone who you think's an outlaw if they're down to one health to put you closer to the sheriff. And so there can be a lot of betrayal within this game, even if you think you know who's who. And uh, it's an interesting system, but again, you can suffer player elimination. You know, we could kill this person early in the game uh, you know, I'm now closer to this person. We could play another, you know, half an hour, and the player, person who's been eliminated doesn't have, you know, much that they can do. 
Um, so you really want to do this in a social aspect, you know, at a, at a coffee house or something where you're still chatting with other people and you're not, you know, totally out when that's what you're doing. Um, and again, so it's, you don't really know how long the game's going to play and there's player elimin elimination. Those are really the two big downsides to this game. But, uh, you know, there's, the game's going to be different every time. What you're dealt with, everyone's kind of got unique abilities. And so it's a fun, casual, hidden role game. Uh, just the tension in not knowing who's who and, you know, the paranoia starts to creep in. It's kind of like, you know, McCarthy the game. You don't know who your enemies are and uh, who your allies are. It's, uh, it's a fun game for that aspect. Additionally, with the, the bullet system, you get the expansions of High Noon and A Fistful of Cards, which have sort of cards that are played at, at the Sheriff's turn that have kind of a, a global impact on the game, uh, which is neat. It adds some variety to the game. And uh, overall, it's a pretty good system for casual play. Again, if you're someone who says, no, I can only dedicate an hour and I want to play an hour-long game, this is not the game for you. Um, it's really best for party settings. It can accommodate a lot of players, and that's really where it excels the best. So then even if you know, you're in a big party, somebody finishes this game, they can go drift off. They've been eliminated. They can move to another part of the party, another part of the conversation. Um, and those are the pros and cons with this game. Uh, it's, it's a system that's been around for a while, uh, and the company DV Giochi is always releasing expansions. Um, so I, I think it's a well-developed game um, for that aspect. You know it's not going to just be abandoned uh, by the publisher. Anyway, till next time, I'm the Board Game Blogger.